right, we're recording. <laughs> Welcome into the Recipe Podcast, Celebrity Secrets to a Successful Life. I'm your host, Chef Charles Carroll. What a great day. What a great show. What a crazy show I think we're about to have here today. We're all lined up and uh, we have a full house. We're excited to come to you with our unplugged episode, which is uh, with comedian Eric Knowles, uh, the brother of uh, Beyonce. Hey, say hey, man. Hello, hello. <laughs> Glad to be back. Yeah, man. We missed the hell out of you. Yeah, yeah I've been yeah. Uh, visiting Beyonce. Yeah, how's she doing, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> can, can, can we get her on the show? I'll talk to her. Yeah, all right. I I'll appreciate that. Yeah. She, yeah. So, so, yeah, we'll, we'll get on that. That'd be good. She doesn't really talk to me that much. She doesn't. Yeah, we she doesn't talk to the that. white half of the family you know, anymore. It's weird. Somebody's listening. <laughs> like, it's like, we, I was like, I want to get in trouble for that. <laughs> Just in some way, I'd love to be like, okay, and Beyonce is right. on. I want her to reach out and say, no, that's not. <laughs> that's I don't know absolutely not my brother. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe that's uh, maybe that's her angle. That's our angle to get her on the show. I mean, or at least call us out. We'll, yeah. get, some, we'll get some press. We'll on. Just make some accusations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't mind her? No. Oh, that's great. No, I love that. I ain't got no money to lose. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the, un- the Unplugged Show here. We're here with uh, the full team. We have the Bob at the podcast producer. Say hey, Bob. Hi. Venus Flytrap, always good to see you, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. so the Venus is uh, doing a little gambling on there. We're going to get into that in a second. So, and we have Jay Claudel, the video engineer. Say hey, Jay. Hey, what's up? Thanks for pushing the buttons over there. And, of course, Eric Knowles, we already mentioned, is in-house. But we also have a special guest, uh, uh, very famous and... and uh, uh, celebrity chef, Mr. Rick Moody. Hey, hey, Rick. hey, how's it going? Good, brother. Good to have you. I'm thrilled to be here, Charles. Yeah, man, it's uh, kind of a uh, uh, surprise that you're here. And, uh, of course, this is our unplugged comedy show, but we need to do a whole other show with you and, um, and your new venture here in Houston. Yeah, I'd love it. Can't wait. Yeah, that'd be great. Um, uh, Haley, my, everything sounds weird to me over here. What if number you are could, you? <coughs> yeah, that and also um, something else. Uh, what number? One. Um, so, but yeah, Rick, uh, uh, Rick uh, Moonin uh, is from Vegas, and, and uh, we're proud to have him. A longtime buddy, Operation High. We've known each other how many years? Uh, it seems like lot, forever, Charles. Lot, yeah. We've been around the world. We've been to Paris. We've been, to, I don't know, we're, no, Afghanistan. We're South Korea, yeah. Afghanistan. Yeah. You know, the exotic places. <laughs> <laughs> I only ask you to. Uh, I only ask you to go to the, the cool places, right? I yeah, know. man, you're the best. Yeah, so, <laughs> so Rick and I are going to be doing a dinner. Um, uh, March seventh. March seventh. That's too high. I'm sorry, Haley. The other way. Yeah. Uh, uh, March seventh at Perry Steakhouse. That's right. Yeah. It's the, the newest uh, store that's on uh, West Gray. Yeah. It's uh, right in the heart of River Oaks. Beautiful man. Right. First time they're in the in the loop. And they're stoked. This is week number one. Things are going like a well-oiled machine. Crazy good, right? Yeah, yeah. man. It's, it's an interactive experience. Super cool. Yeah. Well, listen, we're gonna get, we're gonna have a whole other show on that, yeah. and um, I want to uh, talk to you more about that. But um, uh, congratulations on that gig, and uh, what a what a great uh, restaurant, and what a great production. I mean, they're really they're really, a great team. Yeah, they're. Yeah, no, I'm I'm proud to be with them. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. So we are in the Unplugged, and Jay, we got to get a little business out of, out of the way, so if you can help me with the sponsors real quick. We have uh, Duncan Coffee. You all know Mills Duncan, and he's been a great friend and, and uh, great coffee. So if you're interested in that, go to DuncanCoffee.com. That's D-U-N-C-A-N. Aceway Incorporated, owner Ricardo Ace Vito. Amazing. This guy will clean anything anywhere, whether it's apartment buildings or office buildings or kitchens. He'll do that in, in uh, customer care is one of his favorite uh, details. So he's a special guy. Ricardo Acevedo. Then we have the Texas Beef Council. Uh, we love them because they love chefs, and uh, we couldn't do this show without them. And re- what a great supporter uh, of, of our show. Scoffee School of Culinary Arts. We want some online education. Great school to go to. You can do that, and they have a first-class uh, operation for online education, as well as two locations uh, in the United States. American Culinary Federation, the ACF, I've been a member for 30-some-odd years, and uh, they are 20,000 members uh, nationwide. So if you're not a member of the ACF and you're in a hospitality business, you're missing out. So ACF. So that's pretty cool. So guys, we're in house, and um, so so uh, Venus, what, what's going on there, Eric, Eric? What's what's Venus doing over there? He's gambling on. I some thought he was gambling. He's yeah. looks like he's doing a live auction. Live auction. He's. <laughs> let's see. 
No. Right, right now the bid is up to twelve hundred. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? <laughs> so, so are you? What are they auctioning? Are you? Here? Are you doing the? Are, are, are you on the dark web or is this? <laughs> <No. legal? laughs> yeah, the dark web's been developed. Are you buying or are you selling? Buying, buying. You're buying. Yeah. And you're buying for a client. Yeah. Yeah. Bottles of wine. It looks like. Yes. And yes. you really want this one bad. Uh, I'm hit, I'm hitting this one pretty hard. Yeah. I have like another. 50 bids to go today. All right. Is there a certain bottle you're looking for? Oh, yeah, a lot of them. Oh, okay. I mean, oh, like a lot so of this is your job. This is one of your jobs. You do this yeah. and you find yeah. bottles yeah. for clients. Yep. yep. Wow. Well, that's a different world. <laughs> I can't even imagine yeah. that. Don't, don't you want to jump well, like get that? to a good lot? I, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll point at it so you can see. I feel, like your list, I feel like your client list is probably like all the bad guys of the world. Billionaires that live in a cave and like, bring me the most rare wine. <laughs> <laughs> so I can pour it out for my homies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> paper cup. Yeah. Bring me something rare. Yeah, well, well that's, that's cool. what it's about. Yeah, well, good luck on that, man. I mean, um, uh, in fact, uh, Rick, you talked to uh, you talked to him about your bottle that you want to get rid of. Yeah, well. I got a 1945... Mouton Rothschild uh, victory label. So it only came out one year, of course, when the war was won. And it turns out that was the greatest, you know, vintage ever for them. So it's uh, it's extremely rare. Hmm. And uh, <coughs> my, you can call me at No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Get a hold of us. Hey, I got them 5,000, 5,000. Hey. No, I don't have <laughs> That's to. That's pretty good, I, dude. I, I, don't, I don't have huh? to. I get <laughs> so, yeah. So, so Christian, how much how much we get for that bottle? Just right this. Right, right what we're looking at here? No, no, for for uh, his victory for, bottle. His victory bottle. Mm. I'm saying we're talking a few grand. A few? That's it? Yeah. Well, that was like sixteen, seventeen thousand. We'll see. Yeah. We'll eh, see. It was just the World War. It's, it's a not victory that big bottle, bro. <laughs> I know it. It was signed we'll by Hitler. No, it's wrong. You know what? <laughs> a bottle. You know, if you put if you put a bottle in the right in the right auction, even though it'll just. You're just looking at it it's like, here's the value. They'll rally behind it, whether there's some kind of sentimental value, whatever. And they'll rally behind it and pay three times what it's worth. Yeah. Some, sometimes more. So it's all about putting it in the right position for it to get the most dollar value. Yeah, yeah. It's like you have to know what to do with the bottle. Uh, I trust you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, I don't have a clue. <laughs> yeah. Well, plus we could probably sell that where we work, too, probably. There's probably some people around there. That oh, yeah, for sure. But, I mean, yeah. like, when people come... When people go to a club, you know, from their neighborhood, they're trying to find a, a good deal. Even if you are a billionaire, mm. you, you just want yeah, yeah, copy. You want to get value. That's all. Man, your screen's popping. It's blinking, man. What happened? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know your eyesight's not that good, yeah, so I know, not, I know you're it, making it, that it up. Sucks. No, I see, I see some stuff moving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can be. I'm playing Space Invaders yeah, over right, here. Right, yeah. <laughs> he can see motion. So, yeah, yeah. So I got, I got a question. So when, when. The, all of a sudden, like car crashing into houses is a thing. I mean, is it? It's a thing, right? Yeah. It's like it's, it's like always the, been a thing. Remember, <laughs> remember, remember when we were talking a couple weeks ago about the kid falling down the well? Yeah. I mean, oh yeah. Like yeah. It's like it's almost like I compare it to that. It's like car cars crashing. Has that been happening a lot in the news? Yeah. I mean, it was just on the news uh, yesterday. I do remember a couple of stories recently. Yeah. Yeah. So why why is that happening? Why why do people run into houses with their cars? I figured yeah, you, I texting. Say, I've been saving that question for you, actually. That's a, I don't know, alcohol, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. It's just like, how do you not see a house? And, it, and it's usually on a side street or something. And yeah, a lot of times it's just like an elderly person that, uh, you know, had had that final stroke or something, <laughs> you know, or somebody's. A lot of times it'll be like a diabetic <laughs> attack. People will go into a diabetic, uh, what really? do they call it? What do yeah. they call it when they get low blood sugar and they just they just pass right out? Like I see it really. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And then they run into a house. <laughs> and and then and uh, then if it's somebody of note, immediately people would be like, "Well, you think you committed suicide?" Yeah. That happens all the time. Who commits suicide by running into, into a house? <laughs> no, you don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's the most painful. Maybe it's gonna work. Plan. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's, it's like I'm gonna commit suicide or be paralyzed forever. Yeah. You don't know what you're thinking in that moment. Yeah. I mean, I guess they figured out after the fact. But I remember not long ago, somebody who we know went into a tree, and I was like, mm, yeah, that dude yeah. was a. Yeah, a no, real good dude. Yeah, I mean, I was maybe uh, people yeah. that love driving like that's how they want to go out. Like, yeah, too nah, fast. That's pretty crazy too. Uh, people. No, no, I think no. It, no I, I want to go out. You drifting. drive fast. What? I yeah. drive fast. Yeah. I like to drive fast. Yeah, oh, not me. 
I'm so scared. Are you? Nope. I'm scared of everything. So, yeah, in my sometimes. <laughs> Today we took it easy. Okay, man. I, I, I uh, Bob it drives fast, but she's got like a five-hour drive. Are you serious? Yeah. Not anymore. Not anymore. Tired tickets. I uh, <laughs> well, see her whole family's in law. You know, she got a cop and a lawyer and then a judge in her family, so so she's connected. Yeah. I drive five Good or enough. ten over. I feel like Tupac. Like that's <laughs> that's the wildest I ever get. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, I'm going crazy now. I, I drive, going 80. I drive fast, uh, but I hate driving. Like I hate, like I hate driving four or five, six hours. I hate yeah. that. Me too. Mm-hmm. Me too. Yeah, but hate it. But yeah, that's it, my job. I especially hate driving into houses. I mean, that's not one of my favorite <laughs> things. <laughs> I avoid I, them at all costs. Yeah, I, I think it has to do with. Um, I, I agree. I think the number one reason is alcohol or drugs or something. Or texting. Come on, the obvious. Texting, yeah, People are just distracted. Yeah. They're down there. Whoa, yeah. point. That's yeah. got to be a night that, f- that family never forgets. You know? <laughs> right. like, yeah, people in the uh, house. Yeah. yeah, I mean, assuming nobody gets hurt, but just like a Chrysler is all of a sudden, bam, in your living room. Like, <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, but, and then, then you can't sleep because you're worried about a car crashing in your house. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now you're like, man, this is a busy street that I live on. I never noticed. All right, so I got something else for you. Not, it's not necessarily breaking news, but Christian, no, I'm, I know I'm asking a lot of you. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not doing anything. I can't do it. <laughs> Haley, then, Haley, you're going to have to go over there. There's a, I have a tab up there. I think it's the, I don't know if it's the first or second one. Have you guys seen this doorbell liquor? Oh, Cri- Christian. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a guy. What was his deal? Again, drugs or alcohol. <laughs> I'm, I gotta yeah, watch the screen. I, I gotta watch. I knew. Oh, did a- I just unplug that thing? Yeah, man. You, no, you, no, I did you not. Went to screensaver. Oh man. Oh, it's up. It's your up. computer shut down because you haven't done anything for so long. It's uh. <laughs> it's like are you still watching? Li- is that the doorbell liquor? You sure? Okay, is it gonna start it or what? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, have that footage that he's talking about with the guy who this. was going down. <laughs> Look at this guy. Right, here's this dude. doorbells and then leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. <coughs> he almost can't reach it because of his oh, nose. He's yeah. concentrating so hard. Yeah. Gonna have good Forever, man. Get the little side angle. Like, yeah, a little so longer. Sure. Yeah. You could say a little longer. Bell, this is a man who just can't let go. Um, man. Yeah. He's in no, he knows he's, he's looking faster into the camera. Right? Faster. Yeah. He's like, uh, oh, God, dude. Uh, what's the matter with this guy? All right. Now it's getting awkward. I feel embarrassed. Hey, you can shut that off, or somebody can shut it off. I don't know. But he's staying up there for like an hour, or a couple so of hours. Say, did they just show that? Did they just show that on the news? <laughs> Would these three guys watch that entire clip? That was yeah, very yeah. graphic. Yeah, that, I think that's actually guys. the worst part about it. If you look at the face of these two guys, let's look at that pause there. <laughs> they're gonna like, break it. They're down. so satisfied with having watched that video. Whereas, yeah. like, I'm like. I saw a second of it. I was like, okay, I'm good. The black dude's like, I did not like his technique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, what do you guys think? Down. <laughs> I think that's the worst part of it. <coughs> He's going to say, now if you play that over. He did yeah. hit the button, though. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, he, he should have moved more to the left. <laughs> uh, what's up with that, though? What's up with that dude? Uh, the man. And you know what? He's we not can the only, only speculate. He's not, he's not the only one. So when I was trying to bring that clip up earlier, there's like four or five others. So that's a thing. Man. Like running into houses. This is the next form of maybe sex maybe thing. that's maybe they're connected. I mean, it's, it's, well, they want to yeah, see they themselves. Know, they know, he, he was looking right into the camera. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he, he like wanted her. Right at it. it yeah. was like this is for you. Honey. That's like he's probably crazy. Ah, yeah. They broke yeah. up a while back. He's uh-huh, like he's, uh-huh. he's like, but remember what I can do. So he's out there like, <laughs> like you know, that's right, showing off, <laughs> trying, to get, trying to get her back. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, remember those days? Let me in. I'll yeah. ring your bell. <laughs> So dumb. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so so when I was looking at that, there was there was like I'm, I'm gonna apologize to Haley. She looks t- <laughs> terribly uncomfortable here in this whole segment. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't even look at her. Yeah, no, don't look. Do not. Yeah. So so there was several clips, by the way. There's several. Like, so that's a thing. There's a lot of people who like who like uh, apparently like licking, licking doorbells. doorbells. Yeah. So mm. there's not just that one guy with a big nose. So get with the times. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, how about uh, there's another disturbing, and I know this is going to disturb Christian because he's a big uh, animal activist. <laughs> I don't want to look at it. Uh, you're sad now. Is your wine not doing well? What's it not? No, I'm okay. Not, I'm just. I haven't had a lot in a while. And I know it's going to be like just when I'm in the middle of talking to you, right? Where I'm going to be like in the corner of my eye and be like, "What? I messed. <laughs> I messed up." Yeah. Well, don't screw up, man. How can you buy us some wine? What do you, you want? What do you want? What's the best one under 15 bucks? 
It's a good line. Let me see. I'll wait, I'll wait for it. All right, let me know. So, so uh, I'll split it with you. <laughs> so hell you'll have <laughs> go ahead. Maybe we'll go to we'll go up to twenty bucks and then if you're gonna be on <laughs> I'm feeling wild, let's right. do it. <laughs> yeah man. You guys are nuts, man. You I'm guys from Vegas, nuts. I'm in. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I was the uh, next breaking news piece I had was the man breaks into a school and shits all over the audio and, and, and visual equipment. Jay, is that anybody you know? <laughs> <laughs> what, you don't know. A man, first of all I don't even know anything about this, but I that's the I best thing he it. said. First of all, a, a man a man didn't do that. No, it wasn't. That's the no, best thing he no, said no, all the time. That's a former student. He graduated <laughs> last year. New York. Oh, is this what? That'd be my guess. Like, yeah, I, agree. Pretty, I, I agree. I agree. Like Why would a grown country. man go in there and shit on the audio visual? <laughs> Well, that's a good point, too. You guys are spot on in this. Uh, Rick, do you agree with that? I agree with it. it. It might not just be a recent graduate. It could have been a person that was really harboring a lot of anger for many years. Right. I just had, I've had it up to here. A former student or like, teacher. i got to get this out, and so they did. Yeah. It's the janitor that got laid off. That's it. Well, now who's going to clean up you. this shit? <laughs> that's the way. All right, Haley, after all that uh, commentary, see if you can... It's you better a, lock up at night. It's one of the other tabs. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Push play there. We're going to have to move that computer over to air because uh, Christian's <laughs> incapacitated. We don't, want, we don't want to get hit. <laughs> Haley, you can turn that up. The chair's on a little slippery. <laughs> the computer button. There. Search for v Vandal who broke into school. Yet, but the there early released surveillance photos appear to be the best piece of evidence. Look how disgusted he is. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, he's like, <laughs> it's unclear if police <laughs> this is where my career is brought. Got a shit job. Surveillance photos of the accused Vandal. Oh yeah. Will help them no, solve a this case. Oh, it is, yeah. Investigators say he broke into the gymnasium at Austin Elementary in Richmond overnight. Elementary. In one surveillance photo, the accused Vandal is wearing what looks like a red and white cap and is seen standing next to what looks like a woman in the kids the do it to the high school. Once inside, school administrators say he urinated and defecated on some audiovisual equipment. <laughs> the damaged equipment was removed from the gym Listen and the part. area was cleaned and sanitized before classes started See, today. Yeah. Clean and sanitized. A letter sent to parents reads in part, <laughs> the overnight incident had no impact on the instructional day and our campus has been operating normally <laughs> and safely. Alright, right, you can shut that up. So Eric, uh, don't yeah, you don't you, his life. don't you have a red and white hat? I think the last time you came to the school, <laughs> <laughs> you had a red and white hat. That does sound like something that I could do, <laughs> given the proper motivation. I mean, and by the way, this is see a reason for that. This isn't the only clip on on this breaking into school. And by the way, when I was searching this one, but I, this one being in Houston, that's why I pulled it up. But. Um, so uh, so he was a younger guy, right? Yeah, he looked uh, like a teenager, so he's probably still mad about not making AV club in elementary. Oh. And he harbored those thoughts for years. I got you. You know, and everybody told him, your shit don't matter, nobody <laughs> cares about your shit, we're yeah. never going to, your shit's never going to be in here. And now, shit. now, now, now who now has the last laugh? Right, his yeah. shit's in there, definitely. <laughs> Everybody's there. talking about his shit today. Now, yeah, he's a big <laughs> shit at the AV club. It's made news. At the AV club, yeah, yeah, and um, he, but he's currently unemployed outside uh, <laughs> of the gymnasium. Do you think, Jay? Do you know? know? Did that guy look familiar to you at all? Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jay says yes. Yeah, they look like a lot of squirrely guys I've seen. Uh, I don't know. Well, that's a uh, I don't know. It's a tough way to go. So the, yeah, there is a, there's actually another clip on there, but I'm not going to bring that up. I don't have it, but uh, of somebody else shitting on AV equipment. <laughs> So, <laughs> so you're, so, you're finding these trends out no, here. No, I, you know, you know, you, know, you got your finger you, on the you. pulse of America. <laughs> so, Haley, the, the other way, please, the other way. Uh, no, so we have to, um, uh, I have to find the material somewhere for the shows, right? So I just watched the news. So, man. so Eric, what else is going on in your world, man? You have a good. Uh, we missed you, man. You know, the last couple of weeks. A couple you, weeks. I've been at my uh, my new little day job, yeah. driving a truck out there. Hey, uh, by the way, loving the trailer show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I just started messing around with the camera, and I started riffing. And then, uh, yeah, I, for people that haven't seen it, I just made this little two-minute thing. Welcome to the trailer show. I was in a travel trailer. <laughs> yeah, trailer show. And I just said trailer show. We're gonna show trailer. <laughs> I did all these puns for like two minutes straight, and then people were asking like, "When's the next trailer show?" So now I'm <laughs> racking my brain like, "I got to do something in the trailer." <laughs> so yeah, you know, I try to uh, pass the time out there. 
looking forward to stand up. I got uh, some gigs coming up next weekend in San Antonio. Oh, cool! Mm. Yeah, uh, the February twenty second, twenty third. I'll be at Jokesters twenty two, which is like a new uh, bar and uh, comedy club downtown San Antonio. Brand new oh, place. Oh, cool! Cool. Well, I wish we could go to that. What days? Uh, what 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 days are those? Friday and Saturday. Mm, that's gonna be tough. Actually, I'm, I'm out of town. And then on Sunday, I'm staying an extra day just to do a, a fundraiser show for um, some veteran organization out there. Mm, good for you, man. Yeah, yeah, good cool. for you. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, so, so Rick, what's uh, you're, you're flying out today? Yeah, I got the 605 out of ah. back to Vegas for a couple mm-hmm. of days, and I'm back next week. Yeah, so go go home to Mama. Yes. Yeah. yeah. See my Mama. You, you missed Valentine's. Missed Valentine's Day. That wasn't very uh, yeah. popular, probably. That's okay, man. Yeah, yeah. She <laughs> understands this. Yeah. You know the hospitality industry. Yeah. What I, days aren't you home? I I didn't even see my wife on Valentine's Day. That's what I'm saying. Because she gets up at four thirty, and I got I got home at ten thirty, so that wasn't. Uh, but speaking of Valentine's, Bobby, what'd you get for Valentine's Day? Uh oh. Um. Uh-oh. I got a lot of chocolate. A lot of and chocolate. Lots of flowers. Oh, you did lots of flowers. Lots of flowers. Really? Why, why lots of flowers? I don't know. Lots of flowers <laughs> from one guy. <laughs> she looked uh, unimpressed really? too. <laughs> like you looked like you wanted something more tangible. No, not really. <laughs> like chocolate was good, but now it's gone, right? No, it's a not. necklace would have like been better. Hundred and something pieces, so Oof. it was good for a while. Oh wow! wow. Yeah. All right. What'd you get him? That's a good guy. I got some socks with my face on it. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. that's a thing? Yeah, you can do it. So you like got him some socks with your face on it? Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> is it? Is a face on, Dude, a, on, a, on the bottom of the no, sock or on the top? The whole so- it's like there's... It's like all a pattern. Over, yeah, it's a pattern all over the sock. All right. Damn, that's pretty smart, though. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Pretty smart. See now you. I see, like, yeah, easier, I see the wheels turning here. Yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to put it together. You yeah, but then you wonder about doorbells. Then, then you I'm wonder when de- you. I'm just <laughs> deleting <laughs> jokes out of my head. Can't say that. No. 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 Yeah. I'm gonna let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you just let it go? It's yeah. all over you. That's pretty funny. Go back to the other one. I wanted to hear that. Yeah. Bob, look how creative you are. Mm-hmm. Huh? Wow, that's that's pretty cool. And then you wonder when you meet a guy and he's like, "Why don't you wear socks?" <laughs> <laughs> it's like, "I never wear socks." <laughs> well, good for you. How about you, Jay? Anything special on Valentine's Day? No. No, just like that. No. No. All right. Well. Well, what, 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 Mine what was not. I'm looking to see when it was. Oh, that was two days ago. Thursday. Oh shit! That's not a good sign. <laughs> yeah, we um. No. Nothing. I don't remember. Christian, it was a normal What's day. That? You're you're a romantic. What happened with you guys on Valentine's Day? Oh no, man. Uh, I I got stuck working too. Yeah, but what'd you get? Where'd you get the honey? We don't really do Valentine's Day. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> you don't do Valentine's Day. You don't do Christmas. <laughs> I don't. No. no. <laughs> do, do, do you do Thanksgiving? Yeah, I love um, Thanksgiving. Do you celebrate anything? I told anything? you why I like Thanksgiving. Yeah, do you celebrate anything? Thanksgiving, important birthdays. Buying really good wine at a at Yeah, a high or price. My, my dad retired this year, so we, we, we ripped it up in Vegas like a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's a one-time thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one-offs. Yeah. They're better because you make them memorable, you know? I agree, man. I'm kind of <laughs> the same way. Yeah. We don't celebrate hardly anything either. Uh-huh. Just, I mean, we love each other all year, you know? Mm. So, yeah, but you know what? Flowers are a good investment. Yeah. I yeah. said flowers. Yeah. I'm terrible. Oh, they're a good investment, man. I don't yeah. know what it is. Yeah. And don't ask questions. My mom's a florist, and I still never send flowers to anybody. <laughs> 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 well, I could have it for free, and I don't do it. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a terrible thing. Well, that's almost the same reason, too, because it's like... It, I, when I grew up, my mom was a florist, so sometimes yeah. I'd bring flowers to girls, you know, and there was always, yeah, well, yeah, you got it for free. Like, it didn't matter. Oh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's so, the what's thought, the thought? Man. No, they want it to hurt. Oh, it ain't dollars. the thought. It's the dollars. They ah. want to see dollar value. That's All right, 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 right. Let's not get jumped. Look at Bobbitt doesn't agree. <laughs> look at, look at, no, no, she's not going down with that. Well, not Bobbitt, but, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're different. <laughs> the gold digging bitches I was going to. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They did. <laughs> <laughs> now the truth comes out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's uh, there. You have it. So, well, so that that's what turned you off with Valentine's Day. I mean, yeah. maybe it's uh, something in your history. Yeah. No, it's just all holidays. So how does that make you feel? I'm just, no, just, you know me. You know me. I'm just an old skeptic about everything. Like yeah. Thanksgiving is great. I love to eat it. You know, 
but always listen to that Iron Maiden song about the genocide of the Native Americans, <laughs> you know, just to put it in perspective. And I tell my kids, like, this is what it, we're really talking about. Yeah. You know, we always try to turn some tragedy into a national holiday. Yeah. Hmm. Like, most of our celebrations are based on thousands of deaths. Right. Right. Fourth of July. Yeah. Hot right. dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, it's, it's not necessarily about the deaths. It's the fact that we persevered. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. I don't, know. I don't know where to go with this. I don't have anything yeah, funny got, to got say nothing, right now. Got nothing? Yeah, uh, so, uh, <laughs> any update, Christian? He's, he's dumped Nothing's you. fun. How, how are we doing on the $20 it's bottle? Coming up, coming up. Come, up. Yeah. come uh, Let me see. I think that you can even get video or audio on this. Let's see if I can get this on. Slide, oh, here, check it out, check it out. slide to bid $2,000. Ben Ferdinand, this guy's my buddy coming up right here. Uh-oh. <coughs> he used to be with Chicago Wine Company like 15, year, like 15 years ago. But. And here's a video of him licking the doorbell. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> this is crazy, man. So yeah. That, this is your but buddy? that's happening right now live in Chicago. Yeah, this guy Ben, this guy ben Ferdinand right here. He's, you're watching this like it's a sports <coughs> draft. Like yeah. it's a live feed. This is better than uh, Fortnite. You know, you know some of the buyers' names. <laughs> yeah, you're super into it. Can you can you text like him that. right now? Say, bro. No, not not him. You can't. T- he, he can't go up there with their phone. All right. T- tell him to touch his right ear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How do you? You don't know if he's watching our podcast yeah, right t- now too. Right, right, right. And he's like, well, you do the same. Tell him to slip the words "unplugged podcast" into his. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's recently been released. It's not your buddy? Uh, you know, you know, friends of yours that have coats and ties. And yeah, this one impressive. Right hmm. Oh, I just right. bought a new suit. That's, oh, what that's, what that's what we did on uh, Valentine's Day. We went shopping. I bought right. a new suit for a corporate gig. They, oh, they have to dress you up. Yeah, but then they canceled the gig, so now I have a new suit and I'm all dressed up. No place to go. <laughs> 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 Pretty disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> you sent in the bell for that, I hope. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah. That's what they told you. You have to. They, they don't let you be yourself. They, they tell you. That, well, that's some of them. Yeah, you gotta wear a suit. Yeah, yeah. Which is yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's not part, my favorite. It's part of doing business. Yeah. You yeah. know, if it's a real job, sometimes you get. You know, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to sell it to my wife as a real job. You know, I was so wondering about that the other day. <clears throat> I just went back and watched some Louis C.K. And there's like one random one where he's wearing a full suit. And oh, I was yeah. like, why had a Louis C.K. had already. Looked slobbish, yeah. like in the first. It was probably Letterman. No, no, no. this was like stand up, okay. and it wasn't like anywhere super famous, like Cincinnati or something. But he's wearing a suit for one of his series, and I'm like, that just doesn't make sense, and it didn't even look right on him. <laughs> but I was like, maybe that's when he felt like, hey, I made it, because like Seinfeld, that guy maybe. you put a, you put a jacket on him or yeah. whatever, it doesn't change. It doesn't Every now and then you want to wear a suit just because yeah. you know it makes you feel good. Yeah, even Louis, who's like a fat slob. Agreed, agreed. Wearing, that, you, you, most of his specialties, he's just wearing a black T-shirt. And that's some it. Pants and so are that's too how tight. I felt about it. I was like, maybe that was a point of his life where he's I like. Never saw George Carlin with a suit on. That's true. Yeah, he's a black T-shirt, black yeah. pants, and just. In his know. early days, though, before he used to wear a suit. Really, he had a short blazer. hair, and he did a clean act. Yeah, there's a old, there's like Johnny Carson footage of him. Oh, I got to see that. And maybe, the maybe he's getting ready to sell sell wine, maybe or something. I don't, I don't know. know. Hey, but with. Cartland was amazing, though, wasn't he? I mean... Oh, man. Yeah. I miss him. He's Wouldn't you love crazy. to hear what Uncle George had to say about the world today? Yeah, With, yeah. you know, just all the changes, the new, uh, the new language. You know, he always loved to talk about the language and how it changed. Millennials. I saw him live front row. Very front row. So brilliant. Yeah, I mean, his mind was... But, but I, was, I was bummed out about it because I'm such a huge fan. But his whole show was um, about death. And I was like, gosh. I mean, you know when he hangs on to that theme the whole the whole show? Mm. And I was like, wow, man. It was it was heavy. It was like, uh, it's t- I don't know. If yeah, I yeah. Like, Hold okay. on. Check this out. I just want to show you. Uh-oh. One Shit. bottle of 750 is up to 16 grand. That's one bottle of 16, 05 Romani Conti. One bottle of Romani Conti 05 is going for 16 grand right now. From 2005? Yeah, it's sold. It's not even that old. Yeah, that's what I mean. It Crazy. hasn't even aged yet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just drank a car. Still a yeah. punk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I just drank an automobile. Oh, well. 16000 Well, did you buy it? No, it wasn't me. Uh, how many lots are you supposed to be buying? Are you trying to 50. Buy? Five zero. How many have you got so far? 
Uh, when I first checked before, I had 20 already. You bought, you bought 20? Lots. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. What, what's a lot? <coughs> one of these is a lot. It it's could be an $1,800 lot. It could be an $8,000 <coughs> lot. Is that just one bottle or is that a... It all, they're all different. Like, this oh, okay. is 12. Or it could be a lot. Gotcha. Which is, this, yeah. is a good, this is actually a pretty good deal. <coughs> right. That's interesting, that word, too. We just say a lot to right. mean, like, plenty. Yeah. Yeah. When really there's a numerical value to a lot, probably. Or there was at one time. Well, in this case, it's hmm. just one thing. Just like with a lot of our words, bunch. You know, that had to do with, like, vegetables. <laughs> it was Originally? A, bun a bunch of grapes. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what uh, it started out with, with vegetables? I bunch? don't know. I, according to my brain, yeah. <laughs> What's a bunch of parsley and a bunch of cilantro? It's just, ah. you know, yeah. It's, it's different in a, in a grocery store than in, a, in the box that we get in a restaurant. That's so, true. I mean, it's, there's no standard. You had to just break it down to... Yeah, I read something cups. recently where it's like a wagon full of apples. It was known as a butt. How about a slew? <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's actually a, a butt load? What, what, yeah. Ah. That's, that's right. What, what are you reading, bro? Facebook, man. That's where <laughs> I read this. I get all my knowledge and information. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, is that true? On my timeline. Yeah. Like, memes, bro. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I don't watch the news. <laughs> oh, look. Here's here's one I'm on. You Jesus are winning. Scared See? the hell out of me. Oh, you're winning. So I was right. Yeah, on this one. So it's <laughs> it's <laughs> but it's a good deal. It's 12 bottles of 08 Ligny Michelot Clos de La Roche. You are winning. You are winning. A lot is open. Fair warning. Fair warning. Fair warning. Fair warning. Fair warning. Fair warning. What do you got? 1400. Winning. bid. Done. I won. 1500. Fifteen hundred for yeah. twelve bottles. Yeah, that's actually a good deal for those for those bottles. Yeah, man. All right, man, we're drinking good next yeah, show. Yeah, we'll huh? get faded. Huh? <laughs> it's unfortunate when you open up and there's only eleven, right? Wink. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> whoopsie. Hey, good for you, man. <laughs> you gonna help me deliver? We can go deliver. Like a lot of it's missing, but <laughs> we have a few the IOUs, so that's easy to sort through. Well, we got all these empty <laughs> bottles here. <ordered. laughs> <laughs> I'm good for it. Yeah. It's the way that came in the auction. One of them was just <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So that's good for the reputation. Well, listen, I got. I think I got uh, one more or two more. One maybe one more clip, and then we're getting up against it here. Oh, more radio? Or, or are we? Let's see. Uh, yeah. What is it? Uh, I even forgot it's what gotta it was. Be this one. The woman. The woman got stuck in a in an air vent in a on the, on the roof. <laughs> Well, allegedly breaking into Houston. I love how they have to put allegedly. Like, she definitely got caught stuck in a net. <laughs> what she was doing there, we'll find out in court. Yeah. <laughs> She's claiming Santa Claus. Right. She could have been bringing... Check back with us in three yeah. months. I was just checking for dust. <laughs> At midnight. And, and uh, she had uh, several... Uh, She's a very thorough maid. Enforcement people had to help her get out. I, I want to know the backstory. Firefighters pulled the woman from the air vent, and she appears to have suffered a broken leg. Oh. She broke her leg in there. She was highly motivated by yes. something. Like, yes. I'm getting in here. <laughs> they lock the door of my ass. I'm coming in, and we're going to talk about it. Like, I wonder what you was know when, you know when she, You know when she made the mistake is when she climbed in feet first. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm this coming in the best way to foot do it. first, so I can kick your ass right yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't think it through. Imagine the look on his face when I pop out of that thing. <laughs> and, and you know, uh, watch when you see this, Rick, because it, it, it's it's uh, a it's a it's a vent to a hood. Just, just for fun, you oh, think this no. is a white a, lady or a black lady? <laughs> you Did know, she make it to the fan? I don't, I don't think it's. I think this yeah. could be any lady. Any I don't think lady, we yeah. can narrow it down. Yeah. Or, All right. Or, we ready? Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, it looks it's like a clip, a, real. Yeah, it's a, it's a shit house. Coach Roy is live on Parker Road in Northeast Houston. <laughs> I just where realized, firefighters just rescued like, a woman who was stuck in a vent. Michelle, how did this all go down? Yes. <laughs> how did it? <laughs> Guys, this was such a bizarre rescue. Yeah. Firefighters say this woman somehow made her, her way onto Can the roof of this vacant down? house. See the hood? Then trying to get in through that metal vent hurt her leg in the process, and then started screaming for thing? help. Yeah. That's when someone that across the street the heard hood. those cries and called 911. <laughs> now, our cameras were rolling as right. she was rescued. Around 24 firefighters She's came out here. It took them Look less than house. 20 minutes to get her There's out. Quiet lady. They told me they have never seen anything Blink like block. this before. And get this. Apparently, she told them she oh. has Ooh, no idea how she something. got on oh, the yeah. roof got or in mouth. the vent. Yeah. Oh, now, that woman is on her way to the hospital. Luckily, she's all right. Oh, my God, that's terrible. She may be facing some charges later Net on. Police mouth. are now investigating this out. as a break-in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michelle Choi, thank you for the update this morning. Sorry.
So what's the verdict on that? <laughs> That's really weird. Bobby, what was she doing? You're a woman. Heck if I know. Huh? Heck if I know. Would you get up on top of a roof and... Uh, no. No? You wouldn't? Would you ever break it? Yeah. Doing the President's hey. Day mattress sale. Let's you start for a Turn the... Turn, there you go. Um, oops. Yeah. That was my year. <laughs> what is this? An, what is this? An interrogation or what? <laughs> well, I just want to, you know, get inside of a woman's mind and see what we, you know, what do you think she was thinking? Yeah. You know? You can tell by looking at her for that one second we look. Explain you can, yourself, You can Bobby. connect with her. And, <laughs> you can connect with her in that second. Yeah. yeah. You had that blonde wig in your car. I saw it. She was only in there for 20 oh minutes. <laughs> they said they said 24 firefighters came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means they called every house. Every firehouse. They were like, dude, let's go. There's a lady stuck Just in the We're going to see this. Oh, i got to come see that. Yeah. <laughs> Two dozen. And yeah. it only took her 20 minutes. They should have left her in there for a couple hours. Yeah, I see. You know? Let's take Take a look at this for a second. Make her sit in her mistake for a while. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Chief, we got a call about this lady, and uh, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Nothing's going on. Can we go? <laughs> Can we take the fire truck down and go check it out? <laughs> Police are yeah. investigating it as a break-in. Yeah. Well, yeah, on the surface, but there's more to it. What if it was her it. house? What's that? What if it was her house? Well, um, then, yeah. See, that that's usually Christian's angle. Right, Christian, Christian always plays the other side of the coin. When that guy we cut the, the dreadlocks off the the wrestler, so he's gotcha. he, he's totally zoned out. He's a, yeah. He lost a lot, huh? Mm, no, uh, I'm, I'm, pa I'm passing. <laughs> You're passing. He says I pass. All right. So, all right. Well, anything else you guys need he's to share? On the bed, anything man. else uh, you want to share before we? Uh, uh, I did have one more story in my head actually. I saw this uh, when I was on my last trip. I saw this guy. At what point, where this guy had to have been all of. 350 pounds, right? But I feel like we've heard this one already. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he was all of 350 pounds. But he, uh, his waist, his belt size was like a 34. Oh wow! And, and so literally, his his gut hang hung <laughs> out at least 10 or 12 inches out. Oh, so it was all belly. It was all belly. Yeah. But I'm a 36 inch waist. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. I was, oh, pick it up. Well, yeah, when you push it all to the top like a tube of toothpaste, <laughs> you can put a rubber band at the bottom of it. But, but I don't understand how that, uh, you know, it's, it's strange. I mean, uh, uh, to me. Yeah, some men. My uncle was like that. I mean, just all, I had an uncle like that too. Yeah. I mean, he had this huge barrel yeah. of a stomach, and it wasn't like soft and flabby. You know, you could punch him in the stomach and it was <laughs> feel like you were punching a refrigerator and he would just laugh. He could run fast, outrun all the really? kids. Yeah, very athletic, w worked hard, you know, mm. it, but just this huge... Just built differently. Like yeah, Santa yeah. Claus yeah. or you know? something. Yeah, like... And he wasn't a beer drinker either. I always thought, well, maybe it's just, you know, yeah. drinking bad yeah. beer or... Hmm. It's got to be something. Anyways, I, I, was, uh, I thought it was kind of funny. Like, I think it's marriage. <laughs> it's just swallowing your pride all those years. It just turns into this big ball in your stomach. And it grows and grows. And he did have like three divorces. That's probably what it was. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That'll do it. Would you agree with that, Rick? Yeah, it sounds sound to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, uh, well, I think that uh, we, we're up against, we have another uh, guest that we're about to bring in in, uh, in studio. So, Rick, uh, I appreciate you coming in and having fun with us. Oh, man, this is a blast. And tell all our friends from our Gourmet Club Live uh, fans out there, what, uh, tell us again real quick what's going on with Perry Steakhouse and, and what you're doing. And, and I hope that you'll come by mm -hmm. in, in another week or so, so uh, maybe with Perry or whoever else, and we can do a show on, on the whole thing. Well, I just recently joined the team yeah. as their uh, master development chef. You know, I get to uh, develop recipes and embed them into a, a, an incredible culture that's already established. Yeah, sure. And um, I'm just having the time of my life. You know, I'm like doing recipe development in my backyard. You know, I'm burning wood and we're doing new concepts. And it's, it's stay tuned. Well, it's gonna, it's a, it's, there's a lot more to it, but just to be embedded in and uh, seeing the new opening this week in River Oaks, you yeah. know, and you and I are going to be doing a dinner together. That's out. right. Yeah, we're doing a dinner together in March yeah. something. What it's is it? March 7th, and uh, it's paired with great wines. It's just, mm -hmm. you know what, we're just doing it as a way to say, like, you know, we're, yeah. we're here, and, and, and we're going to be bringing this level of, of interest and yeah. quality. You know, it's all it's fun. 
Well, any any opportunity I have, I can have to cook with you, brother, is a, is a is a real honor. So, right back at you. yeah, Mar March seventh. So all you guys out there, uh, uh, if you want to come see Rick and I do uh, sling some hash down at the Perry Steakhouse, we're gonna do. <laughs> we, it's a five course meal, right? It's a five course. I think yeah, there's six. Well, I, it's six if you include the sorbet. <laughs> yeah, so it's six courses. It's gonna be killer, and the wine's amazing, and uh, we're gonna have a blast, and we'll come out and say it and see us. So, um, and that's the uh, new Perry Steakhouse on, on River Oak. So. And Eric, again, where you're at, so everybody can go find you. Uh, next weekend, I'll be in San Antonio at Jokesters 22, uh, February 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. And then next month, I'm in Daytona Beach for the uh, uh, Bike Week. I'm going to be at Venom Bar on the 15th. And on the 16th, I'll be at Scratch's Las Vegas Comedy Club in Daytona Beach. Oh, wow, man. That sounds good. Are you bringing your, your, your lay-down bike? Are you bringing that in the Speedos? Or, what, what do you call those bikes? My recumbent, recumbent bike? Recumbent. Are yeah. you bringing that? Are there any re recumbent people I, want, down I wonder if there's a recumbent bike week. Hey, man, a good time to bring that joke on. Yeah. Huh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. Christian, anything else you want to report? You're doing, you know, you're all right over there? We're good, man. Yeah. We have, you got quiet all of a sudden. I'm worried about you. No, I'm here, man. I'm listening. All right. So, <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I want to thank the entire team uh, for helping us out. And, uh, again, I want to give a quick uh, thank you to our sponsors, um, Duncan Coffee, Aceway Incorporated, Texas Beef Council, Scoffee School, Culinary Arts, American Culinary Federation. You guys are all super cool, and I appreciate your support. Without you, we could not bring the show to all our fans. Your fans, you guys are awesome, uh, you're helping us to get to uh, iTunes Top 50. Uh, several on several occasions so thank you for that please tell everybody and also if you're listening to this show <coughs> and you found it on facebook or instagram and you're just playing it there please we need you to go to your your podcast app and search the recipe unplugged and subscribe please do that because uh it's it's has moved so go find the show and subscribe then they'll always be in your phone all the time so that's cool and also the uh the recipe celebrity secrets to a successful life subscribe to that one too so we thank you for that and uh, again thank you all you guys for for helping me out uh, the Bobbit and Venus Flytrap and Jay and uh, Eric and uh, and Rick thanks for uh, joining us again so that's all uh, we have for today remember you're especially great make an impact on someone's life today see you next time <laughs>